Hey guys, in this video, I want to show you the best business model of 2019, uh, Shopify dropshipping and Facebook ads. And uh, that's a business model I've used to, to grow my business to seven figures and uh, to spend over $40 million uh, per, per year on Facebook advertising. So you can see Shopify is blowing up right now, right? So as you can see Shopify, like it's basically the platform that um, like merchants used to sell products on the internet, right? And it can be used for drop shipping where you don't have to have any products whatsoever. Like you can sell products that are like, you know, just don't belong to you, but you can uh, fulfill them once you get an order. So your goal is basically to sell it and then you can fulfill that product. And you can see Shopify, uh, which is a platform we mostly use to sell these products is blowing up right now. So that's the highest level of like popularity, over half a million people using Shopify to sell products. So there is a lot of like the big market and a lot of people are buying products on the internet. Now with Facebook ads, Facebook ads is also um, quite popular as well. As you can see here, it's quite high like interest from people and Facebook just takes, you know, billions of dollars in advertising revenue from advertisers. So there's a big, you know, every, anytime you think about some opportunity, you have to think like, is there a demand in the marketplace for it? Because if you just go into the market, which could be like lucrative, but like very small, there is no potential to make, you know, a lot of money and, and build a big business because, you know, it's only like a small market. Here, it's a huge market. Like a lot of people are using it. A lot of people, uh, you know, Facebook is used uh, by over 2 billion people. So you can basically serve your ads to all of those people if you want to and, you know, basically sell your products. Now, there are several business models available if you master uh, Facebook ads and Shopify. So first is Shopify, um, basically drop shipping, right? So drop shipping from AliExpress is like the easiest way to get started. Uh, you can start with like print on demand, um, which is also like, for example, I'll show you, I'll show you how it looks like. So you can basically sell products that are um, typically printed from United States. So you don't have to you didn't have to like send them from China, as you can see, 250 plus, um, uh, 50 plus custom products. And they have, uh, you can access the best printing partners from US, UK and China in one place, right? So a lot of uh, places basically to source products. And what you can do with them is basically print any of the, uh, let's say, uh, men's clothing, right? Any like t-shirts with some uh, logo, for example, or some uh, title, right? anything you want to put on them and then you can sell them to your customers at the premium so let's say here you buy this t-shirt for seven dollars but if you if you put on it some some tax let's say uh you know veterans um you know rock or something like this i'm something that you know would would speak to a certain audience right or support our veterans something like that then you know a lot of people will buy it so and and you sell it let's say for 25 dollars. so you have this good margin in here and so and then you use that margin to basically advertise on facebook with it right so that's basically the model we use it's like a it's like an arbitrage but it's also like scalable arbitrage so Consulting for companies. So if you have these two skill set, right? If you know how to do Facebook ads, if you know how to sell on Shopify, if you understand how to like how online advertising works, you can consult for companies that want to grow. That's like agency model, right? And you can have, let's say, a few clients paying you like several thousand dollars per month. Or if you, you, you want to have a team, like you can have a team and have, you know, dozens of clients, you can use this business model and these skill sets to basically help your clients grow. And the same principle supply, you use Facebook advertising to drive sales, let's say to their stores. So they get more sales, they get more profit and they pay you for, um, you know, basically accommodating all of this process. You can also work on the CPA model. So basically where you only get paid, where you generate sale uh, for certain products. So for example, this company here, it's called Giddy Up, right? Um, so they have a lot of these like great, like innovative products that they sell and you can become a partner. You can promote their products, right? You can apply here and you can have basically, um, like the most unique campaigns in the world, right? Uh, you have pretty good, like margins to acquire customer, right? So you have pretty good, like, um, like chances of, of making this you know successful because you basically get paid 
uh, for selling proven products. So you, you only the only thing you need to know is basically how to make this, you know, Facebook ads and Shopify sync work. So um, that's how valuable this skill set is. So if you focus on mastering this, it will really make a difference in in your career because like there's so many chances, like so many choices. Uh, of careers and businesses you can start and you can help to grow and you can partner up with uh, with this specific skill set so dropshipping from aliexpress is typically the first choice for a lot of people typically they start with dropshipping um, you know using facebook ads and dropshipping so basically focusing on top brands or suppliers uh, with a lot of feedback is a, is a great first step like for example on aliexpress you have all of these products here and as you can see this one here is a top brand right so basically uh, top brands are, are brands that that are selected by their uh, for their like customer experience and they typically have a lot of different products you can source from them so let's say if you work with this like one supplier you can find a lot of great products that they sell right and you can sell the same products and you have all of your uh, like fulfillment from the same supplier which like very very like simplifies things a lot right so you have like you can see what products are just naturally selling extremely well like for example this one right so that's basically one of the models and just just choose your suppliers carefully because that will make a big difference whether you will be uh, you know your customers will be satisfied whether your orders will be delivered on time so just choose your suppliers carefully and having this top brand um, is you know very important for for just identifying you know initially when you just start like getting traction um, to what um, you know suppliers take your products from then find um, you know and sell products that have a lot of sales already so we use for example AdSpy right so AdSpy is a tool for um, you know finding products that sell so let's say we can search for products that are um, being sold on Shopify let's say we can find products that have been uh, like total likes like let's say from 1000 and they have been created within uh, let's say like the last week right so these are all like new products we can see and we can see whether they they're getting traction right so like this one for example like this one for example not all of them are drop shipping products but you can see some of them are and so you can kind of like reverse engineer what is selling for them right so um like this one for example right been advertised for only two days very interesting um and so you can you can reverse engineer and see you know what products what products are, are doing well what products are blowing up so adspy is an amazing tool to do that with a lot of like filters here on top that you can see you can like refine your search results and then facebook ads library which is the free free resource um like you can put any company name here so for example if you put uh, the company name like movement right this they're selling watches so you can see all of the ads they have right uh, and if, if they advertise in some other countries like you can also see that so as you can see a lot of different ads a lot of different um, a lot of different products they sell right so a lot of different ads so that's basically what you can do to reverse engineer and then you you have to learn to create better ads and competition so for example like let's say you have this ad right <clears throat> so the first step you would probably like um like first of all this is brand you wouldn't like emulate it you wouldn't like create similar ads because that's brand they have a lot of like influencers um so they have a lot of like brand recognition already so you wouldn't like want to like emulate them but if you wanted to emulate some other um like drop shipping stores for example for example this one right so i showed it like several times already but it's quite good because their ads are nice well done their creative is well done right so let's say you wanted to emulate this you want to see their ads and how they work right so you can basically create very similar very similar structure everything is very similar uh, but you know you don't want to like copy it but you want to model them and create very similar uh, products and and ads so 
uh, you have to learn how to create these better ads because there is no way around it. It's, you know, it's, it's the most valuable skills of all here with, with this model, with this, um, you know, Shopify dropshipping and Facebook ads model. So uh, use high converting team. So we use Booster. So Booster is a very good team to, uh, you know, have your conversions high, all right? So Booster team, right? So Booster team is very, very powerful. So it has all of these tools. It has all of these like features to, Are you a Shopify to basically have the, you know, a higher conversion rate, uh, has the pop-up, has the sales pop-up. So it's very interesting. You can get a link for Booster team below this video. Um, and I highly recommend it because we use it on our own stores and it converts very, very well. So uh, learn how to analyze metrics and read data. So once you have a data with Facebook, um, with Shopify, you have to learn how to understand it. And uh, you can see some of the other videos um, in my channel below um, that will show you how to read that data because that's very, very important. Once you have accumulated, once you are advertising, you need to know like how to actually turn the data into some insights and decisions that will help you to become more profitable. So if you're spending money on something that does not bring you like revenue or sales or profit back, then you need to know how to do that. And then you have to learn how to see the bigger picture of advertising, which is Facebook ads and funnel, like seeing the, the whole, um, you know, from the first time the person sees your ad, right? So for example, what I mean by funnel specifically here, let's say here, um, like these ads, right? So like these are the ads, right? And so that's the first click. So first you need to make this like good looking ads so people actually click on them, right? People actually play, let's say this video. And then you have to get people to click on this link, right? And then you have to get people to, you know, read through this page. And then you have to get them to, you know, add product to the cart, right? So this is like a funnel. Person is moving from one step to another and you need to know how to like see this, um, you know, within your metrics and basically influence every step of that process. So once you are able to do that and you, you obviously can do this over time as you get better, better at it, then um, you, you become very, very powerful. So two, uh, two factors, right? So traffic, when you generate traffic with Facebook and then conversion, whether those, you know, clicks and and uh, and like traffic that you're generating actually convert into sales. So these are two important skill sets that you need to learn with this model. Now, key success factors here. So first is product selection, right? So product um, products need need to be proven, and I cover this in in another one of my videos. Ads, um, you know, whether they resonate with uh, with the audience, and also have this covered in one of my videos. So you have to check my other videos. Then the conversion on the website, right? So the website has to convert. Uh, Booster is, is pretty good team to start with, but you you've seen here, for example, this store has another team. It's quite simple uh, and it still works, right? So it still works. So um, you can use either Booster on, or this one. Um, and you know, if it converts, then that's pretty much the most important thing. So there is no attachment to any like teams whatsoever, just recommending you what's working for us. So final metrics, right? So from the first impression to the purchase and repeat purchase. So you need to understand like when person sees your ads on Facebook first time, like why would they click on it, right? So why would they click on it? What's what's the unique advantage? You know, what are the benefits of your product? Whether you are explaining them properly with your ads. So if you have that um, and over time you build that, you know, understanding, you will do very well. And then focus and determination, because obviously a lot of these things are, you know, they just take time, right? And you need to be like focused and determined to make it happen, to learn it, all right? So that has a big impact on your success. Then team building skills, right? So as you grow your business, like you'll have to hire people, you will have to work with them, you'll have to like make them happy, collaborate with them. So team building skills are very, very important also for this, because that's the build business that we are building. Now, profit margins, if you do this correctly, is 25 to 45 percent. So uh, with our stores, let's say if, uh, you know, store generates like one hundred thousand dollars per month in sales, then typically the profit margins, you know, from 25 to 45 percent and it can be totally remote. Uh, you know, we can work from anywhere. I can work from anywhere. Um, I mean, you know, you just need laptop and Internet connection. That's it. 
right? And then timeline to, to basically make it happen to become good at it and start generating some, you know, healthy profit. Um, in my experience, from one month to one year, right? To become good at it. And it depends on how much time you can dedicate to it, how committed you are, um, you know, whether you take information from like proven sources, right? And then, um, you know, how actually, like how much budget you have, right? So budget, uh, it's like two to five thousand dollars is like a starting point. I would recommend for everyone to start this. If you have lower than that, then obviously there are free ways to generate sales and traffic, but you know they they will take a bit more time. Um, and if you have more than that, it's good. You you'll be able to test faster, implement faster, and with the right guidance, you will definitely succeed and will master this. Uh, you know Shopify dropshipping and Facebook ads. Um, you know. Um, skill set as, as fast as possible and then obviously all of these it could be less you know some people become like they, they they find the product and they scale it to seven figures within like first like you know a few weeks of, of them doing it but you know it's more like luck and other factors it's not like proven process so i'm sharing what's working for me and what i've seen happening so um but definitely if you master this skill set there are so many opportunities for you to to sell different products help other products um other companies sell their products and just become that you know expert in um in Shopify, dropshipping, and Facebook ads. So, guys, this is the best way to make money online, uh, from my experience. And I've used the same model to basically build several seven-figure businesses. So uh, I know this works. I've seen people that also make it work. Um, you can see some testimonials from my students on my channel, and um, you can tell me uh, if you have any questions, please in the comments. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, please like this video if you liked it, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next.